locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Man, Bug certainly grew up faster than I realized. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. Has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? I went through everything here.
Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, AKA Dickie, AKA D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two a doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful. That's enough. What's enough? Uh, enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. 
I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. Letting that despair break you down? That's how whoever did all this wins. Hiding crime behind tragedy. We have to stay clear-headed to see through it. Yeah, you're right. I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting... That's not fair. Shut up. Sam! I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't... Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Not really, but it's not like I have much of a choice. Sam, if you need to take a moment. No, let's, let's do this. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. <laughs> 